Warning, the following program contains a major dork. Viewer discretion is advised. Howdy all and welcome to Port of Call. It's a interactive horror game from my understanding. Free on Steam. We're gonna see how this works. Hello. Oh. Broken lamper. Lantern. The lamp looks broken. No point in messing with it. Okay, fair enough. Well, hey, how you doing? Oi. You there. You're late. Late? For what? I think you know perfectly well why you're here. I don't know. On board with Get you. On. I'll see you in the bridge. Come on now. Get. Excuse us? Why? Uh, maybe we're out in the middle of the Atlantic? I don't know. Oi. All right, to business. I assume you know how to do your job. Get to it then. I'm the captain on here, hunk of scrap. And I'll have no more dilly dallying. What are you talking about? Great. They sent me another idiot. I haven't had the time to hold your hand while you learn to pick your nose. I have a ship to run. I guess I could start you off with a simple task, though. And that's not too hard for your wee little brain. There's a little girl in the first cabin on the left. Go get her ticket. Little brat won't let me come in within a foot of her without squealing like a babe. Come back to me when you're done. And if you're feeling a bit lost, feel free to come back and chat. I'll take care of you. <laughs> All right, Captain. Whoa, what the hell? Wait, am I in purgatory? <laughs> oh, hi. Don't eat me. Oh, who are you? Uh, the ferryman sent me. The boogeyman sent me? Are you going to eat me? I'm not here for your ticket. I'm just here for your ticket. I'm not a kid. I hate it when Marcus calls me that. I'm almost six and a half, thank you. Are you a scary friend of the boogeyman? Uh, he's a grouch. He stomps around and makes weird noises. That's scary. And weird. I, okay, I'm not sure if thinking about it makes me feel funny. Oh, I was playing with Ted's. Ted's? Ted's is the best bear in the world. He's my best friend. The last time I saw him, we were playing together and hiding from Marcus. Could you find Ted's? Uh, I guess I could look for a bear. I'm pretty sure we're in purgatory. I think that's what it's the... Uh... So what? If was I picked to be... Uh... Oh, hey, Ted's. All right, little girl, here's your doll. Oh, Ted's, I missed you so much. Hmm. The last thing I remember is me, Marcus, and Ted's, we were playing together while Mom and Dad were gone. Uh, why are you here now? I don't know. My memory gets all fuzzy after. After what? The three of us were playing hide-and-seek. Marcus, Ted's, and me. Marcus was the seeker. Ted's had a great idea for a hiding spot, so I list... Oh, I don't like this. This is going... Where did you hide? We went to hide with the rest of Ted's friends in the toy chest. I climbed in, but the lid fell down and it got dark. I got scared. The wooden lid was too heavy. I couldn't lift it off. What happened next? I called for Marcus as loud as I could, but he couldn't. But he didn't come. It was so dark and I couldn't breathe. And then it hurt. Why didn't Marcus find me? I'm sure he looked for you. Yeah, he was always like being seeker. I just don't know why he didn't find me. Do you think he wanted to find me? <laughs> yeah, Marcus was a good kid. I think you're right. I remember he hearing him call for me. I hope I see his dorky face again someday. Oh yeah, we're definitely in purgatory. Oh man. Oh.
Mm-hmm. You got your first ticket. I guess you're not completely inept. The girl, girl, yeah, what of it? Ah, uh, don't tell me you feel sorry for her. So she was dead, yeah. See here, loads of kids off it here. See here, loads of kids off it every day. And you don't give a rat's arse about any of them. Why would she be any different? What happens to her now? Hell if I know. Hell if I care. I just deliver the stiffs. Anything that happens afterwards is not my problem. Anyway, I got another job for you, laddie. Use a lift at the end of the hallway. And go talk to the drunkard in the bar. I can't understand a thing the fat man says. And I don't have time for any more of your stupid questions. Alright, jerk. I mean, I should have your job. We're going down the elevator. What we got going on down here? Open. Uh, all right. What's up, buddy? Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> Not now. I'm waiting on the bartender, young man. I wish he'd get here soon. Oh. Do I have to play the bartender? You can't let a man drink without some music. The crowd next to me won't stop chattering. Why don't we get a song playing? Uh, I guess. I don't know. Where's the... It's over there. What do we got? What kind of blues do we got to play? No list of songs. I'll have to try my luck. Sure, let's listen to casual. There it goes. Oh. Now, this is vinyl. Oh, there you are. What kind of service is this? I've been waiting for ages, you know. Uh, uh, ferryman sent me. Hee <laughs> hee, did he now? The old Kermigen must have gotten sick of my nagging. Well, how about it then? Want to serve an old man a drink? I'll play along, I guess. What do you want? Cheers! Let's see. How about we start with something simple? Yes, I think a gin and tonic will do nicely. Uh, how do I do that? Potato Riot, Juniper, Simple Quinn, and Notcher Baba, Draft Faucets. Uh, Come on now, son. It's not that hard. Try again. Well, apparently it is, because I don't know how to make a gin and tonic. How do you make a gin and tonic? Oh, picked up gin. Mixed gin with tonic. Oh. What? Now then, why don't you tell me about yourself? Uh, uh, everyone on the ship is... Ah, well, you don't look quite dead to me, son. But if that's... So, you're in pretty good company. Most everyone on the ship's been dead for some time now. Well, except the grouch in the raincoat. No one's quite sure about him. Do you remember how you died? Ah, uh, that's a story I've not told in a long time. And not one with a particular happy ending, either. Are you sure you want to hear it? Sure, go ahead. I, uh, had a daughter once. A long time ago. Suffice to say, she died in an accident when she was young. And my wife followed her soon after. Died of a broken heart, I guess. It was only me and my son then, and, well, I took to drinking. It eventually did me in. Anyway, you know what they say. You can only drink yourself to death once. Cheers. You seem to know how you got here. Do you know if I can tell if I'm dead? Now that's a question only you can answer. It's different for everyone. Give it some time, though. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Now then, how about another drink? I think I'm feeling old-fashioned rum and cola this time. 
Uh, ah, I tip you well if I had any money, that is. Now, what were we talking about? Oh. Look, I can't remember anything. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it too much about that. Things like that have a tendency of floating back around. <laughs> Get it? Because we're floating on a boat? Ah, never mind. Anyway, I think it's time for another drink. Why don't we get a little fancier? How about some vodka with orange juice? Uh, orange juice. Yes. Mmm, that's some strong drink. Thanks, Marcus. I think I'm going to take a nap now. Wait, what did you call me? Hi, can I help you? And you're gone. Wait, I didn't want to go down. I wanted to go up. Crap. Oh no, that was right. So I wonder who she is. Because this is definitely the ferryman to the afterlife. But she's... Uh -huh. I don't know. I see you got the old drunk fool's ticket. Good job, I suppose. Right, well, I don't have time to humor your every fancy right now. Choppy waters require my full. Wait a minute. The hell is that woman doing Oi. out on the bow? Oi! You there! Get off me, bow! You're blocking the view! Bloody girl's not listening. Go out there and get her to move. Works for me. I want to know more about this woman. Hello. You're the first person I've seen on this ship who doesn't look dead. But your face is blurry. Why are you here? Uh, I could ask you the same question. Or isn't everybody on the ship? They are dead. We're all dead. At least I thought we all were until I saw you. I wonder, have you talked to the ferryman? Yeah, that's kind of why I'm here. I see. Well, he's the captain of the ship, not a passenger. He takes travelers to their destination, wherever that is. He doesn't reach it until he received all of the tickets from the passengers. I'm waiting for someone to board the ship, so I've been holding on to my ticket. Someone? I don't see anyone else getting on the moving ship. Yes. I can't remember exactly who he is or how he will get here, but I will wait for him. I just can't remember what he looks like. Have you tried walking around and talking to people? I've spoken with everyone I know on the ship. They are innocent, delusional, and pessimistic. I believe one is a shadow of the person I'm looking for. The black silhouettes? I mean, shadow is in a more figurative way. Oh, okay. Those people that you cannot see are people you do not know. This person is someone I know, but he is not his whole self. Not whole? I have seen any. Yes, he is missing a large part of himself. His shadow feels like the embodiment of negativity. His mask haunts me. Did this person help you remember who you were looking for? I didn't speak to him for long. He didn't have anything helpful to say, mostly hurtful. I could not see his face as he was wearing a mask like the others. He doesn't sound very nice. He is not very nice. I don't think he would have. He's below the main deck in the boiler room. How do you get down there? The elevator is a little strange. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Could you help me? If only I could. I can hardly move anymore. The mask weighs on me so. It doesn't seem... Goodness, what does my mask look like? You don't have a mask. You're different. There is nothing guarding your face. You almost seem alive. But I couldn't tell you. He was the one who waited for me in the hospital. I don't know how long I've been here. But it seems like I'm more familiar with this ship than any place else. Can you remember anything else? When I think about him now, I see the mask of a man in the boiler room. I don't know why, but it torments me. Maybe the ferryman knows? No, he cannot help me. Find the boiler man. I'm not going to last much longer. Marcus. Okay. Guess I'll stop here first. Uh. Spoke to her, did you? Bloody annoying, isn't she? At least she's out of the way. Well, don't you have something you ought to be doing? I'm busy here and you have business downstairs. Go on. Get. Interesting. Interesting. Time to go down, hopefully. Yeah, it worked. Black and orange, flames, or a scaly surface. 
Oh boy. Hey guy, how you doing? At the end of his time, the man from the boy finally emerges. But is he a coward still, or will he face his wraiths? Will he let the sands trickle out, or has he the courage to turn back the hands of fate? What are you talking about? Do you not recognize the reflection gleaming in the dark? An embodiment of all your sins, all your pain, all your guilt stares back at you from the abyss? What do you want for me then? The little girl, the drunken man, and the lover that lingers still. A chain that binds them all to me, and every link whispers a name. Marcus. What do you mean? Do you not recognize your dearly departed? Many ask for a minute, but few choose to squander it. A pity the high price for admittance considered. Are you saying I knew these people? Though they've rot in a hole for many a year, just still wonder how quick your treasured memory wearies. Add to the mix your means of arrival for a delightful taste of copper and irony. Do you know how I got here? Did the man in the raincoat offer no explanation? Perhaps a small mercy granted unto you. But no such compassion will I bestow upon a craven such as you. The answer you sought, I give to you now. A shattered soul taken on an edge, slick and wrist brought upon an end. But is this the end of a story, or the start of another? Most likely the former, as I see no hope for the latter. With all the pieces before you, one might think you a bit slow. It was your hand that slew you, yet not that alone. And by your hand, the others also found themselves here. I didn't murder them, I didn't murder nothing so crude, but in the end, just the same. Inaction can be just as strong as action. Knives are not needed to cause pain. The sister, dead of neglect at age six. The father, drowned in a cup with only a son to blame. And finally, the woman, waiting for the man who never came. Yes, the woman whom you once professed to love now waits in the grave, awash in the masquerade of beyond. You paid dearly to be able to see her again, ignorant of the results your actions would spawn. Alice called you a shallow shadow of a person she was looking for. What does she mean? Though it stares you in the face, you still do not see. You flip a coin in the air and watch as it spins. One side shows you, the other side, me. I am everything you hate, all you regret. Woven into one person, your greatest laments. You're me, and Alice's was my wife. You still have questions, and I have answers. The sister, dead of neglect at six, the father drowned in a cup with only a son to blame. Recall the whole story, Marcus, before you say that again. You were in charge of her, something you resent, had Big Brother watched her. As he promised he would, she would not have been dead in a coffin, taken too soon. But I looked for her. Mistakes were still made, and consequences must be had. A wrong and a right do not always absolve, and so you must live or die with the results you have wrought. It wasn't my fault. One more quarrel I have with you before a resolution is reached. The father drowned in the cup with only a son to break. Of course, who else could he be? But he was a loving father or uncontrollable debauchee. Said he drank himself, to, and while the truth that might be, there's certainly irony still. To the great beyond, the child follows the father, to once again offer the cup that killed him. I didn't know I wouldn't have gotten it to him otherwise. Alas, it seems that the need for me is done. Though do not believe that you have won. One more thing remain for you before you reach the end. Go find the woman, speak to her, and leave nothing left unsaid. So this is pretty much my purgatory. Because I decided to off myself after apparently losing literally everything. I was kind of hoping that wasn't very loud. All right, everybody's gone. Uh, I assume she's over there. So there's two doors. I 
Hey, it's you. I can see you now. The boiler man is gone now. Not gone. In this world, the boiler man was a manifestation of your negative emotions. He's always been a part of you. But you're in control now. How did you come back? Everything went dark, and then I heard a voice. It was you. You brought me back. But now you need to make a choice, Marcus. We're at a crossroads. What choice do I have? You're special, Marcus. I hope you know that. I do. You're both a part of this world and the world we both come from. But it can't be that way once you walk through one of these doors. I won't hold anything against you. I love you. And I know I'll see you again. If you take the door closest to me, you will travel to a life beyond and everyone you've met on this ship. Well, the cat's out of the bag now, laddie. There's no happy ending here, no sailing off into the sunset. You have a choice to make, and I don't envy you one bit. Know that if you choose this door to go back to the world of the living, there might not be any coming back here. I can't idle by, idle by and wait for you forever. Next time you come back, it might be on a different ship. Or maybe it won't be on a ship at all, I don't know. The afterlife is funny like that. Anyway, you have a choice, and I can't sit here forever till you choose. Go on. So basically, if I choose this door, I accept that I've locked myself, die, go to the afterlife, and I'm with my family. But if I choose this door, I turn, return back to life. I mean, this is assuming that the afterlife's actually real, and then we're getting into this whole debacle of, okay, is this a religion type thing? Is it a religion type thing? Often yourself is just gonna put you in hell, Da -da 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 but it seems like at this point I face my regrets and I'm ready to try again. And there you go. I kind of enjoyed that. That was a nice little story. Um, short. This is uh, it's free on Steam. If you want to try it for yourself, if you want to try to get the other ending, I'm obviously not going to go back and do it again. I don't generally do that for the videos. But uh, yeah, if you want to try it out for yourself, port of call on Steam, free. And until next time, y'all have a good one. Take care. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot to me. And while you're at it, check out some of my other videos. Maybe you'll find something else you might enjoy. Until next time, have a good one.